Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best five synergies currently inside of Brawl Stars. So of course, synergies kind of change uh, throughout different metas when different uh, brawlers become really OP. But in this meta, I'll be giving you guys the best five synergies to use. And before we get into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code in the shop. If you're looking to pick up any of these archive skins, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, so going into the fifth best synergy currently inside of Rule stars it is roofs a double throw so of course it's not going to be the best on backyard bowl unfortunately there's no bounty to show this on but uh, good maps i can think about uh just off the top of my head that this strategy is just so good on as, as many bounties so it's gonna be like canal grande dry season these are going to be the two main maps where this synergy is so strong as uh, so basically on these really defensive maps you just want to be using the roofs heal star power i don't even know what it's called but using that star power sitting behind the walls trying to get in a lot of hp and a lot of times you can just get throwers to such a large amount of hp and the reason why throws synergize so well is because you can just sit behind the wall as i said play so defensive and it's going to be hard for the enemy to really get you out so uh yeah back your ball is probably such a bad example to show this on uh but regardless that ball is on one hp which is uh very rare to see normally so a lot of the map is actually opened up unfortunately they have a piper and a brock on their team so i'm just gonna run next to the roofs try and keep up as much hp as possible arctic is going in ham at the moment but yeah it's such a good synergy roofs in general just synergizes really well with those carry brothers but i think this composition is just so strong in this current meta you guys have definitely got to try it out on the bounty maps hopefully ball goes down here and that should be a super shot into the net so unfortunately in brutal it's not as good as a strategy because as you can see once you score you do lose your upgrades and your hp which is a bit annoying but in bounty you know most of the time you're going to be staying alive for the major uh, majority of the game so you won't be losing those uh the hp that you've acquired for most of it and you won't be losing um that upgrade so in brutal obviously as you can tell you do die quite a little bit you you know you score you die you lose those upgrades and whatever else so probably one of the worst game modes honestly to use this composition on uh but for sure top five synergy in the meta right now so let's try and take down this piper 40 seconds left we should be able to hold on even though most of the map is broken up uh ball just gonna be running away i was trying to sneak that one in i should have probably passed over to my tick it's gonna be pretty hard to defend now <laughs> it's such a wild composition to use on backyard ball uh but you guys gotta trust what i'm saying more so than the actual gameplay but we're somehow making it work we're somehow making it work so i'll just throw a wall into a piper jump that is exactly how you're supposed to be playing sprout yeah somehow i'm supposed to be one of the best sprouts in the world and i just did that but yeah that's going to be the fifth best synergy currently inside of brawl stars let's open to number four all right guys so jumping into the fourth best synergy currently inside of brawl stars it is going to be baron slash poco with tanks so obviously poco double tank but in particular the tanks that have a shield uh to go with them so rosa gonna have that shield with a super bb gonna have that shield star power uh also brothers like colette as well obviously everyone knows how good bar and colette is especially when colette uses that uh shield star power so of course uh you're gonna get just get a lot more value out of brothers that have that shield you're just gonna be healing for more basically which is why i think it's such a good synergy probably uh would put this nearer the closer to the top but i just think it's a really obvious one like people know about this synergy and i've known about it for a long time and obviously poker double tank isn't really the best on backyard balls so kind of really hard to show again it's probably a little bit better on maps like canal grande uh well for brothers like rosa anyway so bb really low here i'm gonna try and heal up in time i'm just constantly healing up these guys i kind of feel bad for telling dennis to go rose on backyard bolt definitely not a pick that you should be going on ladder uh but for sure you got to be uh thinking of the commentary more than a gameplay guys because this is definitely not a meta comp on this map so yeah obviously poco double tank are going to be such an amazing synergy i uh, always would recommend uh brothers like bb with that byron just because i can just keep healing up this bb is basically untouchable she keeps that shield as well you see the strategy used a lot on hot zone as well where uh maps like split where bb will just literally sit on a zone you just got a healer and it's just so hard to get the bb off because she just deflects so much damage so uh, we've actually got a good position here as long as we can keep this position honestly we should be able to score i'm trying to heal up this bb as much as possible here dennis might be able to ward this in okay that was really really close probably rushed it a little bit <laughs> that ball is just ping-ponging everywhere at the moment hopefully our bb is able to stay alive here i'm just healing him like crazy okay this colt is kind of focusing on us is exactly what he should be doing especially uh when you're facing off against poker double tank the one way to uh counter it the most is to go for that healer right for the most part when i'm like a gene i'm looking for that bar and trying to get that uh pull on him and the same with poker i'm always trying to see uh where that poker is trying to get some heals on him so let's flash 
Um, our teammates there. Don't think we're going to be able to defend this one unless BB is able to clutch up in time. BB is able to clutch up in overtime. It's going to be absolutely painful using Rosa and BB on this map. Uh, but we might be able to make it work. Hopefully we can finish off this game uh, with a dub. So let's try and get our Rosa at least in a good position for OT here. He's going to push up. I feel again so bad for him. He's just got bullied the entire game. There's not much a Rosa can do on a backyard bowl. Definitely asking him to do too much there. So uh, Colt going to go pretty low here. You're going to have to mind uh my a dodgy voice in today's video of course he scores it there but yeah but got a dodgy voice feeling a bit uh sick today so that's why the constant voice breaks but anyway that's going to be the fourth best synergy inside of brawl stars so let's hop into number three all right guys so going into the third best synergy currently inside of brawl stars we have crow with the sharp shooter so crow uh once you slow them with the gadget and then using like a high dps brawler like a bell like a piper you're just going to be destroying it people so yeah that's why crow is so good especially on these long range maps you see a lot of time in competitive crow being used it probably is the most popular pick along this map and alongside other maps like bot drop i uh, can't really think of any off the top of my head uh, but you get what I mean. The maps that are just really long range. Crow's just going to easily synergize with these type of brawlers. All you need to do, press the gadget. And a lot of times, Piper's just going to be able to two-shot you. Especially like, say, for example, if Dennis got a slow on that B, I could easily just two-tap that B. Uh, it's just obviously really easy to hit once. Uh, <clears throat> I'm slowed, so I'm going to use my gadget on that B there. This Jackie's being really annoying. I didn't even need to jump there, to be honest. If I open up the whole map, Jackie shouldn't be able to do anything on a backyard bowl at all but i think this synergy is again quite a popular one uh definitely known within the competitive community i don't really see uh crow being used too much on the close range map so that's obviously why he's only used here and that's the only reason why he's meta i think if crow didn't have this slow uh, gadget i just don't think he'll be meta uh, right now but it's just so crucial on these longer range maps to see if we're able to score here i don't think i've got enough ammo Let's take a pass this to Dennis. Okay, I just super shotted it just to make sure it would go in regardless. Uh, but yeah, such an amazing synergy. I think it, uh, this Crow Slow synergizes with a lot of different brawlers, but it's just in particular these long range ones and even B as well uh, because you can get some nice uh, 3k shots onto the enemy once they're slowed. Nice jump from Dennis there. Don't know if he's going to be able to kill that Jackie, uh, but might be able to score here. Let's see. I should not have no point really forcing that one. Be a 3k shot. I think I'm pretty much dead here. It's going to be hard to get out of this scenario. Okay, at least B wastes her three Ks there. I'm going to pass this over to the bell and look for a wall break right here. Dennis might be able to walk it in. Okay, this Jackie is being really annoying, just standing behind the walls uh, constantly here. But we've got 30 seconds left. We should be able to hold out again with another gadget. Should be able to take down that B. Uh, Dennis is going to take down the Jackie, and that should be uh, the Jackie the Jesse. That should be an easy win. So, yeah, Crow going to synergize with a lot of brawlers on long range mats, but in particular, those sharp shooters. So, that's going to be the third best synergy inside of Brawl Stars. Let's hop into number two. All right, guys, so jumping into the second best synergy currently inside of Brawl Stars, it is B with any type of war break. Right now, Griff, honestly, is in a really underrated spot. I think Griff's pretty OP in this meta, but Griff. Uh, alongside like a B, uh, any sharpshooter, but I think, as I said, in particular, B, B's just going to just dominate. Once those uh, walls are open, uh, she's just going to destroy everything and every single archetype in the game, basically. If you've got a good B on your team, you're going to be destroying easily. So in our team, we have me and Drage that played a B, and it's just so satisfying. Literally, any map, even with maps with a lot of walls, this kind of synergy is just absolutely insane. I obviously wouldn't recommend it on game modes. Uh, well, even, yeah, game modes like Bounty can even still be strong. Obviously, I don't think that B is the greatest pick on Bounty, but I've seen a lot of people, again, using that Griff, using a wall break, and then going like a sharpshooter, like the Brock, Piper, you know what I mean. Once the map is opened up, it just allows Brawlers like uh, B to completely thrive in, uh, which is just an amazing synergy. Griff with that uh, wall break gadget, it just allows you to break up so much of the map uh, really really easily and that's why this type of synergy is so strong currently in the meta and i think you'll be seeing a lot more griff in the meta come the next qualifiers and uh, monthly finals for sure so i'm gonna try and get him behind this car i don't know how that auto aim just went nowhere near him somehow that shot goes onto the clet as well so uh good brothers that also synergize well with the b uh it's gonna be like brothers like roughs with that will break uh, star power you can just break up the whole map same with colt a lot of times people use a colt uh, with that uh, silver bullet gadget and you should be able to break open the walls with him but now with griff in the meta i think it's just a better version of the colt it's much easier to hit your shots with griff it's easy to get your super and your super does a lot of damage as well but yeah that's going to be the second best synergy inside of a game 
use those wall break brawlers with the b and you should be able to pop off so that's going to be number two let's hop into number one all right guys so jumping into the best synergy currently inside of brawl stars it is going to be gene max obviously paired uh with other brawlers that have good supers so gene max sandy is always going to be really really strong but just the g max combo is still just think it's their best synergy inside of brawl stars i don't think anything will be beating this for a long time unless two new brawlers come into the game that just synergize perfectly well with each other i just think the synergy is absolutely insane so the reason why it's so good a lot of times max will get that speed and you could just auto aim your pull with gene and hit some crazy pulls with it it's so easy to hit an auto aim pull with gene once you're max speeded so that's why it's so strong and a lot of times you can just uh, easily cycle same with max max isn't too prevalent in the meta anymore since i have a nerf to her star power but it's just still such an amazing synergy it just counters so many different archetypes in the game and there's not really a lot of counters to this uh, synergy so i think the best counter to it if you guys are wondering is crow by far uh, because not only has he got the anti-healing with his normal attack so the uh, magic Puff star power only did i think it only heals for like 240 a tick and uh, once you poison by crow but you also got the slows on the max so uh crow another reason why he was so uh good in the meta last time just because he used to counter max as well but yeah still this synergy is going to counter so many different archetypes in the game definitely recommend using it still even though it's not completely the best right now in the meta i just don't feel like it would never uh, be on meta unless max just becomes completely terrible or if gene gets nerfed into the ground it still will be really strong. So I even remember when Gene uh, basically got killed at the beginning of the year. I still, the way I used to push him was with Gene and Max, even though he was just absolutely trash. I still used to uh, have decent results pushing him with his type of synergy. So yeah, definitely uh, never underestimate this synergy at all. Uh, of course, Max is going to synergize with a lot of different brawlers as well. So if you're just thinking of a brawler that synergizes well with everything, I think Max is that brawler. I think that's probably the best brawler for synergies. So the ones I can think of, there's been previous metas where like Rose has been so strong with Max speeds. Uh, you know, you've had the G-Max Sandy meta. You've just had Max with a lot of different brawlers. She's just so good and such a balanced brawler. And for sure, if you're watching my free-to-play uh, to master series you just see me with a level 7 max just going on like every single map and mode uh, because basically you can have a decent time with her everywhere so yeah that's going to be the best synergy inside of brewstar so let me know down in the comment section below what you think synergize is the best uh, there's also a couple of uh, other ones that i didn't really mention too much like the byron 8 bit that's just an insane synergy because once you get byron in the 8 bit sorry you're going to be dealing even more heals it's not too prevalent in this meta though because 8 bit's, 8 -bit's not as strong uh the same with like uh, bar and collect that's kind of disappeared out of the meta a little bit but that's such an insane synergy as well but that's going to be the best synergies inside of brawl stars uh let me know down in the comments below what you think of the list don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time